Conditions there are front and center for federal politicians. The interim NDP leader, Nicole Turmel, has gone there. And in Parliament today, politicians were at odds over how to fix the problem that extends well beyond just this one reserve. Global National's Mike Lecouture is tracking the political fallout from Ottawa. Mike? Donna, the government says it's poured tens of millions of dollars into the village of just under 2,000 residents. But where that money has gone is a question that nobody in Ottawa can answer right now. There's seven kids and two adults. Seven kids. It's a dismal sight. Attawapiskat doesn't look like a community that has received millions in federal help. But the fact is the band council has been getting plenty of aid from Ottawa. Since 2006, various departments, including Health Canada and Aboriginal Affairs, have handed over a total of $91.3 million. The government says that works out to $52,000 for each man, woman and child in the community. The Liberals jumped on that number, asking if the Conservatives are blaming the people for their own predicament. When is the government going to start taking responsibility for this deplorable situation? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. What I'm saying, Mr. Speaker, is the Liberal Party's suggestion of simply throwing money is not the solution. That's a clearly... But a government which has been preaching accountability seemingly lacked some with this Aboriginal community. What's happening with all those resources? If it's not a lack of resources, if you're providing a lot well, of resources, that's where is that one of the going? things we're looking at. Thank you, you very much. Tracking the cash is one issue, but so is the long-term viability of these extremely remote Native communities. Is the economy there sustainable in the long term? And if it isn't, maybe they need to look at ways of transitioning people to where there are jobs and opportunities. Aboriginal Affairs has had people on the ground in Attawapiskat since Monday. The minister hopes that when they get back, they'll have some answers and a better idea of what the next step will be. Donna? Mike Lecouture in Ottawa, thanks.